Genie Plus is one of the most confusing systems Disney has ever made. From tip boards to Genie Plus to individual Lightning Lane, what are the pros and cons of this new system? And in this video, I'm going to be telling you three pros and four cons of the new Disney Genie service. For our first pro, we're going to be talking about how Genie Plus is an equal opportunity for everyone. Now specifically, Genie Plus, not individual Lightning Lane. But Genie Plus, everyone can book their first Genie Plus starting at 7 a.m. Doesn't matter if you're a resort guest, if you're off-site, if you're just a local coming for the day, you can book it at 7 a.m. Now this is different compared to the FastPass Plus system, where 60 days out, resort guests could book their fast passes, and then 30 days out, normal day guests could book their fast passes, and then seven days out for cast members. So there was a whole different tiered system, depending on if you were a cast member or a day guest, like an annual pass holder or a ticket holder, or a resort guest. There's a whole system that made it unequal, but with Genie Plus, everyone can book starting at 7 a.m. Con number one, Genie Plus is a paid service. All previous FastPass iterations, including the original FastPass and FastPass Plus, were all free systems available to anyone visiting Disney World. Now, it is $15 per person per day. Now that can add up quick. If you're a family of four, that's $60 a day. So that's a lot of money for some people. Of course, people can't be able to spend that. So Genie Plus is starting to become a more unavailable system. It's starting to become more out of reach for many people. Pro number two is that Genie Plus is less planning. With FastPass Plus, you would have to plan out your day 60 days out or 30 days out or seven days out. So you wouldn't be able to change it if say you got a flight of passage FastPass. You could, if you wanted to go a different park, you had to keep it there. But with Genie Plus, now the park pass system, that's like that can cause some more issues, but you can basically change the park you want to go to. Annual pass holders, they have more freedom to do that, but resort guests and ticket holders, they don't have as much freedom to do that. Con number two, times for certain rides sell out in minutes, sometimes seconds. This is more closely related to the virtual queue system when it was Rise of the Resistance, where the virtual queue would sell out within seconds for the guests that day. And this is the same for Genie Plus. For the big rides at the park, so that Slinky Dog, at Magic Kingdom it's going to be Jungle Cruise, at Epcot it is going to be Remy's. Remy's Ratatouille Adventure goes very fast. At Animal Kingdom, that's going to be Navi River Journey. So all four of those rides will pretty much, you don't get a pick of the time. You click it, that's what you get. Period. End of story. Now, I witnessed this on my last trip. I got a time at Remy that I wasn't liking, and I tried to redo it. I didn't get to ride at Remy that day. So, if you are going to ride one of those rides, you need to just be dead set on the time that you want. Unfortunately, Genie Plus, that's all we got to deal with, because with Genie Plus, you can't make any changes. Pro number three... Genie Plus is not based on your party size. So say you have a group of eight people. Trying to make FastPass reservations for eight people was very hard because FastPass Plus, all based on the number of your party. There would be a set number of FastPass Plus reservations for a specific ride for the day. And if your party was bigger and you got there early, you'd take up eight. Say you were eight people, you'd take up 80 of those slots. But... If you were one person, you only took up one slot. Now, Genie Plus works completely different. Genie Plus, when you see that time, doesn't matter how many people are in your party, you can click on it, you get that time. So it makes it a lot easier for those bigger parties to get into Genie Plus. Con number three, certain rides are not included in the system and cost extra. These are the individual Lightning Lane selections. And right now they are Seven Dwarfs Mine Train at the Magic Kingdom. At Epcot, it's Gardens of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. At Hollywood Studios, it's going to be Rise of the Resistance. And Animal Kingdom, it's going to be Avatar Flight of Passage. 
those rides are going to cost extra with Cosmic Rewind being upwards of $17 a person. Rise always is $15 a person. I've never seen it change from that. Flight of Passage is, it's usually around $11. And then the lowest is always going to be Seven Dwarves, which is usually $7, maybe 10 So you have to, yourself, apart from Genie Plus, now you don't have to have Genie Plus to get the individual lightning lanes, but you have to pay extra for those rides on top of Genie Plus if you want to use Genie Plus. They're not included in Genie Plus. And that can be pretty confusing and also kind of sucks. So just be sure that you know that you decide early because those individual lightning lanes for specifically rise go fast. So you're going to want to plan ahead to make sure that you want to buy that. And con number four, a lot of time is spent on your phone. When you're in the theme parks, a lot of people like to look around and enjoy the atmosphere. But with Genie Plus, you're going to spend a lot of time on your phone. That is booking reservations, trying to get a better time for your reservations, looking back for more reservations. Disney is basically reliant on your phone. If you don't have a phone or your phone is dead, you're not going to have a good time. The way to solution the solution to this is to not use Genie Plus as much. To use Genie Plus to its fullest, you're going to need to be on your phone a lot. I park hopped to Hollywood Studios for like two hours, and I rode Minnie and Minnie's Runaway Railway, I rode Toy Story Mania, and I rode Smuggler's Run, and I had dinner, and then I left in two hours. And that's all because I was on my phone with Genie Plus. So you need to be ready to book those reservations as quickly as you can. And that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm currently a small YouTuber, but I really hope to grow into one of the big ones. Thank you so much. For